First off, I'd be remiss if I didn't start off by thanking our staff. I think in, in recruiting any time, there's a lot of behind the scenes, communication, travel, uh, building of relationships, and very pleased with the direction and, and you know, in only six, seven months together with our staff, I'm very, very excited about uh, their efforts and, and how they're coming together and, and really appreciative of their efforts. Obviously, I think like most coaches across the country, this is an exciting day. Uh, anytime you sign a couple young men, you feel very good about uh, them coming in, obviously, for obvious reasons. Uh, and we couldn't be more excited today you know, to welcome Dylan Miller and Dan Gu uh, into our family, the Bison family. Um, as, you, as you have seen us play the last couple of years, um, our front line of being 6'6", 6'7", 6'8", across the board, uh, that was a luxury that we had, but not only you know those heights, but versatile at those heights. And I think that's what these two young men will help um, us going forward. Uh, a guy like Dylan Miller, who I think, has a chance to come in very early in his career, uh, and maybe even next year, make an immediate impact on our program um, from a player standpoint. Is something that we're obviously extremely ex uh, excited about. But to another level, and, and, and more importantly, Dylan is the type of young man uh, from a character standpoint, from a winner's mentality standpoint, that we will not change uh, in, in, in how we recruit and, and who we want in our program. Our culture is very important to us, and, and Dylan uh, will fit very nicely into our culture. And then Dang is someone you know familiar maybe a little bit to some of the people in the Fargo area, uh, has been gone for almost two years now but someone we're very, very excited to bring back. Dang's uh, talent potential upside um, is extremely high. Um, at the same time, I think he's a very good player right now. So I'll open up to any questions. When did you start the process with Dang Gu? When, when did that all get gone? Yeah, it, it's it's um, just summer. Yeah, you know, I mean, uh, he was obviously a late, late bloomer. He's grown quite a bit. Um, he's up to 6'8", almost 6'9", now. Um, and he really kind of came on the scene in June. We, we started hearing about him. Uh, he was on campus. We were able to visit with him. Um, and then to see him play this summer, uh, really excited to bring him to the fold. Um, we just saw him all over the country, uh, Sioux Falls, uh, St. Louis, just with the AAU grassroots basketball. And then he, you know, Craig Nelson is someone, his coach at Sioux Falls, Washington, that I've been a, um, a friend with since Craig was in eighth grade. And for, for Dang to come, recommended by Craig and, and Mike Hendrickson from Fargo South, um, and to play under those coaches, we were excited. What was he like when you played here? Was he any? How, I mean, how, how much has he grown? Uh, when he was. Yeah, you know, I, I'll be honest with you, Jeff, I don't remember him when he was here, you know, as a sophomore. Um, so I can't speak on that. What is it about Dylan's game that you think he can come in next year and play minutes for you? I think his size, number one. Uh, I think his skill set, athleticism. Um, not only is he six eight, six nine, but he's a, a bulky, you know, two twenty five, two thirty. With by the time we're rounding into um, into next year, I think he can be close to two thirty five, two forty. And, and the thing, you know, with those two young men in particular, we're up for our foreign trip um, next year, where we're able to late next summer, early next fall, take a trip. And so, it'd be nice to get those guys some minutes and some practice time to see how they're going to fit. This class and no we uh, we have for sure one more uh, maybe two uh, we've had a tremendous amount of success in the late signing period you look at a Taylor Braun a Corey Brown a Lawrence Alexander um, you know just waiting to see kind of how some late kids uh, bloom late um, we, we've answered some big question marks with uh, some size and some skill down low some versatility like I spoke on um, I think now we'll look you know ball in hand a guard a bigger wing um, try to fit some of that in in the mix Yes. Was it intense or was it? Um, his his you know his recruitment and, and actually Dylan's in, in 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 a sense it's a little bit how our staff got put together you know as well. Um, a lot of times you start watching them or hear about them a little bit in their junior year of high school and then get to see them in the spring, where for both of those two young men it really picked up in the summer. Um, D uh, Dang's in, in June uh, for us when we started to hear about them, got them to campus, talked to some people. Um, and then Dylan's early in July. Is the NCAA tournament win a factor with getting these two kids, or is that something that's not going to bear fruit for a couple years yet? That's that's interesting. I think we. I mean, they, there's no question that didn't uh, didn't hurt us at all. I think it it helped in a sense from um, you know that notoriety and being part of that. Uh, again, I've touched on this before. That in 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 the the building of the shack in the same year, 
those two things happen at the same time, I think you know we need to take advantage of those two things in recruiting here for the next couple of years. Did you get a sense that coming back to Fargo was a, a big selling point for Dang? Yeah, absolutely. Dang's unbelievable talent on the floor, and, and I think he's only scratching the surface. But the young man was the homecoming king at Sioux Falls, Washington High School, and, and only being there a year and a half. You know, that, that gives me goosebumps. You know what I mean? That, and that's the person that, that I and we want to be surrounded with. And, um, and I think he's still got a lot of good relationships back here. Um, it's my understanding that his mother has just moved back or is in the process of, of moving back. So, uh, again, I think this will be home for him uh, for a lot of senses, yeah.